वेलकम बैक टू बाल विज्ञान भारती विद अभिलाष सरकार नाउ वील मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम दैट इज प्रॉब्लम नंबर थ्री ऑन द एप्लीकेशन पार्ट ऑफ वर्नोलिस्ट थियोरम बेसिकली द पार्ट विच वी आर डिस्कसिंग इट इज स्पीड ऑफ इफ्लेक्ट्स ओके सो देर हैव डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट एंड डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम ऑन दैट वी आर सॉल्विंग सो दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ similar what we have discussed in the last video where if any tank is reservoir is there from there the water is flowing out and what is the rate of flow and all that so now on this kind there is a another uh, you can say concept may come so that is the water flows into a large tank with flat bottom at the rate at the rate of 10 to the power minus 4 meter cube per second water is also is also leaking out of the hole of area 1 cm square at its bottom if high of the water in sir in the tank remains steady then what is the height okay so let me read it out again water flows into a large tank so there is a large tank and water is flowing into it okay some water is dropping into it okay so it is maintaining some level tank with a flat bottom at the rate of this much so the q flow in q in is 10 to the power minus 4 meter q per second this is the water flow in Water is also taking a, a hole, and this is the bottom. Bottom. So there is a hole. This cross section is one centimeter square. So as it is in SI, let me convert it into SI into the power minus four meter square. Fine. Uh, the bottom. If the height of the water in the tank. If this is the height of the tank, uh, water the tank remains steady. So that means this height is not changing. Whatever flow in and there, whatever flow out, Q out, it is same. So whatever it is coming in, it is going out. So it is maintaining height. So there is no deviation in the height. So that is when the one thing is clear, Q in is equal to Q out. 
fine so what do we have seen for the vernalis equation the water in steady state is the flow rate is in is flow rate out this is only one opening there is only one opening so q in q out and in order to add so many of out because there is a one outlet that is maintained so this is fine so q in is equal to we know 10 to the power minus straight by q out is the cross section into the velocity cross section is said velocity how do you know this velocity is a into under root of 2 g h fine let me put all the values 10 to the power minus 4 this side because all uh, the units are maintained in the same so whatever height will come this will come in meter so i need not to worry about that whatever height and rest of g we can take 10 meter per second as it is not mentioned anywhere for sake the Uh, the easiness of the calculation we will take it g is equal to so put all this value 2 into 10 into h so this will be cancelled out on the other side this is one so squaring of both side i will get 20 h is equal to 1 so what is your height 1 upon 20 meter this is meter now if you want to calculate the understandable unit so if you can cal calculate in centimeter so this will be 100 upon 20 this is 5 cm so that the height is maintained in 5 cm in the tank whatever were coming in it is going out what is the height then what is the height this this is the height of the water column this is not the height of the tank tank height may be different But the height of water column is this much. Okay, my calculation is correct. Ten to the power minus four meter cube per second, and your area is one centimeter square. Uh, it is one centimeter square converted into meter square. Ten to the power minus four meter square. Okay, so Q out is equal to cross section. Okay. into the velocity is 2gh from the formula we already know 2g in h h is much so answer is correct fine so the next problem is number 4 a large open tank has two holes in the wall in the wall one is a square hole of side l at a depth y from the top and other is a circular hole of radius of 
R at at a depth four y since it is if we take it in the same small letter we find four y okay from the top when the tank is completely filled is completely filled with water the quantities of water flowing out per second per second from both poles are same then r then Find R. Okay. So <clears throat> let me read it out and accordingly let me draw the schematic. Okay. A large open tank has two holes. So this is large open tank. Let me take it like that. Okay. This is the complete tank. This is the top surface, open tank, uh, in the wall. And uh, there are two holes in the on the wall. One is one a square hole of side L at the depth y from the top of the uh, from the top. So if I take this is the top. This is the reference or datum this is a datum the four first hole is this way now what is the cross section of this if i draw it here this will be something a square hole and this is at a depth of y from the top okay this is a square hole if i take the impression of that because that is not possible to show you so i am showing it is a cross section hole okay fine other one is a circular hole this also in the in the elevation it will show something like like the similar kind but if i take the impression this will be a circular hole okay of this kind so what is the height of this this is at height of 4 y fine mm, when the tank is completely filled basically that the height will be from the center because this cross section with respect to this height is very uh, less so basically you have to take the center of the line the height and you draw a picture to draw it perfectly so the height will take Central, the average height of the whole cross section. Okay, so this will be your height.
fine so when the tank is completely filled with water this is completely filled okay let's say this is completely filled with water okay so now through the both hole water will come out so also this will get some velocity this will get some velocity let's say this is v1 this is v2 okay mm, the quantities of flow uh, the filled with uh, water the quantities of flow out of the uh, out of out per second from both the holes are same so that means what is the q square if i say this is q square through which and it is q circle are same as per the condition this is my first equation so let me elaborate it what is that the cross section of the square into the velocity of the square is the cross section of the circle into the velocity of the circle okay now individually think of the velocity from here the velocity of the square will be the formula given by 2g and height of the square so what is the height 2g and height of the square is y so this will be your second equation let's say this is your first equation <coughs> okay so now i'll put all this equation on the other side this is a square into v square is equal to a circle into v circle so this will be your first equation this is the second equation and what about the circular hole the velocity is in the same way 2g h of the circle so this is equal to under root of 2g into 4y so that means equal to if i take for uh, 2 out of this the so 2 2g y this is and this is equal to vs so you can put this from this uh, the earlier equation it is equal to vs so we see the velocity through the square this is uh, through the circle this is the velocity through the circle i take it, take it as vc this is v square so so vc is equal to 2 of v square now this is over no need now put the thing in here itself so what is a square uh, area of uh, all the of the square is arm square you know the square the area of the square is what if it is l is l l into l that is the cross section so l square into this have taken as vs other one circular circular cross section is pi and this uh, radius is 4 so pi r square this is the area into v circular velocity so what is vs by what we have got vc is equal to 2 of vs we see the the velocity through the circle it twice the velocity that we have established is uh, very and uh, just now before few time okay uh, the earlier equation that equation that i already established between the uh, the the relation between the the circular velocity the velocity of the circle and the velocity of the square is related in this way so now put the value there pi r square and vc is equal to 2 into vs so on the both side vs can cancel mm. okay so now you have to find r so 2 is there so if i keep the r one side and other all thing if i move on the other side this is r l square and divide by 2 pi will be there so what is your r it is under under root of this so l upon under root of 2 pi 
so this is the radius of this cross section circular cross section with respect to the length of the square cross section divided by 2 pi this will be the relation and this is your value of r understood okay so now we we'll move to the next problem that is problem number 5 Figure. I will draw the figure later on. Let me write the question first. Uh, figure shows two holes two holes in a white tank containing a liquid containing a liquid Figure shows two holes in a white tank containing a liquid in common water. In common. In common. Okay. The water streams coming out of those holes. So, two holes in a white tank containing liquid. In common, the water streams, water streams coming out. coming out of this holes strike the ground strike the ground at at the same point the height of liquid of the height of liquid column column sorry column in the tank is how much or the arrangement is given as this is a circular bottom the top Two holes are given. Uh, the water in the it is to this level. Water up to this level. Okay, fine. Two holes are given. This 
one is from this one is at this this cross section is force this four centimeter this is six centimeter hole is given this is height is given as four meter no this height is not given this height has to be measured this is h actually the drawing is not pretty clear so that's why let me understand this this is 4 cm this is 6 cm hole is given no from the top sorry the hole is height from the top of the water column it is 4 cm and this from the top it is at of 6 cm the first the hole 1 is the hole 2 this is not height this is hole okay hole 1 hole 2 the hole 1 has a height of at a height of 4 cm from the uh, the uh, surface of the uh, the actually it is the liquid containing a liquid in common that means it is a common liquid that is means the water you can take it as a water the common liquid the, then uh, all already it has said that the water steams that means definitely it is a water so water level is up to this height is being given and there is a hole that is at a uh, from the water surface it is given at 4 cm the first one the next one is 6 cm this is the but when uh, this is you can assume it is the surface from this it is dropping at point this and from this point also this is dropping at the same point so your you can say the distance this this if i say x is same now you have to find the height okay fine so basically this problem is based on your range okay so now at for any height the the range if you have remember it is depend on this formula 2 into h into h minus height this was the formula for the range if i remember or else uh, this 2 is outside okay so let me go theoretically or not put the value directly so what if if i take any any high height this is height of the hole h this is the height of the water column so we know this is a free flowing from here it is flowing out so what is the range but we have used is equal to uh, uh, h s is equal to so this is height instead of this this is equal to s is equal to u means from the surface it is zero velocity from from downward this is velocity this way this way there is a no velocity is equal to half g t square if we use so t is equal to and s is equal to here the time is equal to 2 s by g under root so this is equal to 2 into s means s s means the height of fall this is we are using the uh, motion under gravity the free flow that we have compared while from the tank the water flowing we have compared this is equal to the free flow of any object uh, with the gravity so there we can use this following so from there the t is the time of fall, fall so now 2 into s means h minus s is this much this is capital h minus small h by g so this is the time what else we know the range that means the distance this is equal to the velocity this way into the time the velocity is this way is equal to we know the uh, speed of reflex 2g h this is 2g h means from with respect to this 
what is the velocity of reflex is equal to depends on this height only 2gh into t is equal to this much 2g h minus h by g is it this is g so this is ultimately what we are getting we are getting let me write right the velocity of reflex is 2g h into this i am getting 2 into h minus h by g okay so from there uh, 2 and 2 it will come out g g cancelled out this is um, no this is 2g h yeah g g cancelled out so this is equal to h into h minus h so this will be the range and this is the range now we will put this uh, this formula so what is x x for both case is same so x the range for hole at 4 mit 4 cm from the surface is equal to range for 6 cm so the height the range are same they are dropping at same point so the range for the hole which is at 4 cm from the surface of the liquid and which is at 6 cm from the surface of are same so the range formula it is 2 into uh, small h small h for this is equal to 4 capital h is equal to we have to find the height so this i am assuming it is really capital h and minus small h is 4 divided by uh, this much for this case the range for the hole at 4 cm for him uh, for this hole the small h is equal to 4 capital h we don't know we have to find okay so range is this much and for this again 2 is a suffix coming under root of height for this hole is equal to h is equal to 6 and height will be same the capital h for both case it is affecting the both hole because through this height it is flowing from the both the hole so capital h will be same so i put uh, 6 for a small h capital h will be same and 6 for the so now this is the equation so now 2 2 so we can move the square root sign so this is 4 into h minus 4 and this is equal to 6 into h minus 6 so you can cancel this or 2h minus 6 uh, sorry minus 8 2 4 the 8 is equal to 3 into h minus 3 6 the 18 so what is your h you can put h one side and this will come as 10 so height will be this much now uh, other uh, this is in centimeter so everything in centimeter so height will be in centimeter so height of the tank the the okay, the, the height of the liquid column in the tank will be 10 cm okay so i will end up here in the next video i will start from problem number six uh, and if there is no much problem to solve i will move on to the some more theories uh, which is remain there are some few more theories uh, regarding this fluid dynamics is there then i will move to the new subject of mathematics so thank you for now